Hey, what is going on you guys? Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you the ultimate stock valuation spreadsheet. Now, I am a big believer that one of the best ways to make great investments is to find the intrinsic value of a stock, which is why I'm excited to share with you this phenomenal spreadsheet that uses four different valuation models in order to calculate the intrinsic value of stocks. Now, this is an interactive spreadsheet and much of the process is completely automated. So you can see here, let's say we can pick the stock that I want to evaluate. So let's say for example, that stock is Microsoft. I would just type in their stock ticker here and hit enter. And a whole lot of the data for the spreadsheet is going to automatically fill in. You can see we have our one year trend line. We have a lot of different metrics here. We have our days change and dollar change. And down here at the bottom, we have our four different valuation models. We have Graham's valuation uh, created by Benjamin Graham, who was one of Warren Buffett's advisors. We have a discounted cash flow analysis model here. We have a multiples valuation model and we have a dividend discount model as well which all four of these are gonna go out into our output tab and we can quickly see the intrinsic value based on each of these valuations and we can see the intrinsic value based off of this average output. And if we come down here, you can see it's gonna list our current price and the difference and we can apply a margin of safety just as some of the top investors such as Warren Buffett does and when we hit enter, you can see it's gonna spit out our acceptable buy price and whether this is a stock we should be buying or selling. So now I'm gonna be going through this spreadsheet in a little more detail, but first, if you'd like to be able to download this spreadsheet for your own use, then you can head to my Patreon page at the link in the description. Okay, so the first valuation model we will look at is Graham's valuation. Again, this was created by Benjamin Graham, who was one of Warren Buffett's mentors. And you can see here, I have the formula listed the most popular one is actually the revised formula, which you can see I've built out here. And remember, this is actually pretty much almost completely automated. So for example, let's come over here. We'll delete Microsoft stock ticker. If we come back over here, you can see most of this data is no longer filled in. That's because it's automatically filled in when we insert the stock ticker here. So I'll do that again and hit enter. We'll jump back over to Graham's valuation. And you can see much of this data is filled in. The only thing you'll need to fill in is the growth rate, which you can find from analysts on Yahoo Finance and the current yield of AAA corporate bonds, which is information that is widely available. And you can see here, I've used this formula and plugged it in right here. And using this data we have here, we can find the intrinsic value according to Benjamin Graham's valuation model, which goes into our output tab which you can see right here. And then on our next valuation model, we have the discounted cash flow. This is one of the most important methods to calculate intrinsic value. And I already have the entire template built out and most of these formulas are automatic. What we do need to do is look up the historic free cash flows for Microsoft for this model to work. So all you need to do is look that up on Google, insert the free cash flows here. And what that will do is it will give you an average growth rate, which you will take into consideration when applying a growth rate to their future free cash flows. And when you put this growth rate in, for example, let's say I take this out, you can see these changes. I'll insert my expected growth rate. All of this data here will fill in automatically. We have our future free cash flows, and then our present value of the future free cash flows comes in automatically. We need to apply a perpetual growth rate and a discount rate, and then we will automatically get the sum of our free cash flows. The only th the things we need to do next is we need to add the cash and cash equivalents, which you can find online and the total debt. And this will give us our equity value, which will then divide by the shares outstanding, which we can look up and apply. And once we've done all of this, we have our discounted cash flow price per share, which you can see in this scenario is $340 per share. And just like Graham's valuation, this will automatically go to our output tab. And the next valuation model we have is our multiples valuation model. This is a very popular valuation method for people like investment bankers. Um, discounted cash flow model, that's probably true as well for that model. Um, but for our multiples valuation model, this is another really great method to calculate intrinsic value. So essentially we're gonna be comparing Microsoft to similar companies. So let's delete this here. And let's say we wanna compare them to Facebook, we'll hit enter. We wanna compare them to Amazon. And we can say we wanna compare them to Apple. And we'll hit enter. And essentially, we are gonna use this price to earnings multiple to find a way to value Microsoft. 
and it's gonna pull the average price to earnings and based off of Microsoft's earnings per share and the average price to earnings for the similar companies, we can find the intrinsic value using the multiples valuation model and it'll automatically come up. So this is another very effective way to value companies. And again, this multiples valuation will go into our output tab right here. And then the last valuation model we have is our dividend discount model. And the idea behind the dividend discount model is based off the dividend payouts and dividend growth of the company, we should be able to find the intrinsic value of the company. So you can see what I've done is I've just inserted the historic uh, dividends paid out by Microsoft, and then this gives us our yearly dividends, and then we can see the growth rate based off of this, and then using the average growth rate, our discount rate, we can calculate the intrinsic value of Microsoft with the dividend discount model. So let's go ahead and jump to our output tab. And like I showed you earlier, based off of this, we now have our four valuations by, based off of each of these models, which gives us our intrinsic value after averaging all of these out. And then just as I showed you earlier, as a dividend value investor, we wanna be able to see if this is a stock we should be buying or selling after applying our margin of safety. So we can see the current price is $310 a share, but our intrinsic value is showing $347 per share. But it's important to apply a margin of safety just to provide um, some more protection in case some of your estimates may be wrong. So let's say I wanna apply a 10% margin of safety. I'll hit enter. And based off of this, this spreadsheet will give us our acceptable buy price, which is $312, and that is higher than the current price. So this is a stock that we wanna be buying. Let's say we wanna be more aggressive with our margin of safety. We could put in 30%, and you can see based off that, our acceptable buy price would be $243, and it would be giving us a signal to sell. Now, I do have on my channel tutorials on how to build out step-by-step -step grams valuation, a discounted cash flow model, a multiples valuation model, and a dividend discount model. I'll be sure to put the link to those in the description. Again, I cannot understate how important it is to calculate the intrinsic value of a stock when making investment decisions. So I am gonna make this valuation template available on my Patreon page. You can head there at the link in the description. So that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.